you ever get the feeling we're being played? We probably are. After all, the people pulling the levers have been telegraphing their punches for years. The CIA is not an intelligence agency. It's a covert action agency. Covert action being uh, overthrowing or supporting foreign governments. Another part of covert action is disinformation. And the uh, American people, in my estimation, are the primary target audience of the agency's disinformation operation. That old spook said the quiet part out loud. All the way back in 83, the CIA dabbles in disinformation, and they use a gullible press to do it. Could be hiring um, agent people, agency people, and placing them in the news uh, organization. Or it could be uh, giving information to a reporter and winning his goodwill. It, it could be just a, a friendship sort of basis. For years, the CIA used the media as their willing stooge to lie to us. But it's the 21st century, so they've picked up some new tactics. Now they go straight to the source, Capitol Hill. And they found a new patsy, Jamie Raskin. When he's not obsessing over January 6th or impeachment, Raskin's become the mouthpiece for disinformation. Yesterday, Raskin was caught lying through his teeth about the Biden family's alleged pay-to-play scheme that the FBI is covering up telling the American people a legit allegation of bribery was debunked. What I know is that the FBI Department of Justice team under William Barr and Scott Brady in the Western District of Pennsylvania terminated the investigation. They said there were no grounds for further investigative steps, so they ended that. Bill Barr, quite the name drop there, Raskin, except for the fact that Barr says Raskin's full of it. Speaking to the Federalists, Barr said this, quote, it's not true. It wasn't closed down. On the contrary, it was sent to Delaware for further investigation. Not only is Raskin full of it, but Barr actually blew this up. The Delaware prosecutor now has the bribe document and his investigation is still active. So Joe Biden's running for re-election while being investigated for foreign bribery. Oh, and he's also under a special counsel investigation for leaving his classified documents spread eagle all over Chinatown. Now the ball's in the Department of Justice's court. Is Merrick Garland going to indict Trump and let Biden's off scot-free? And will Chris Wray be held in contempt for a cover-up? Let's ask House Oversight Committee Chair James Comer and Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley. So, Congressman Comer, have you spoken to the FBI? Is this resolution for contempt going to drop tomorrow? Well, as of now, we're still planning on having the contempt hearing, but I will say this, Jesse, they're negotiating. Uh, they're offering uh, deals now to try to cooperate with us in our investigation. And my investigation's always been about following the money and following all the leads that would point in the direction of uh, explaining how the Biden family's been receiving millions of dollars from our adversaries around the world. So I'm listening to the FBI's offers, uh, but as of now, we still plan on moving forward. Okay, we'll follow that tomorrow. Senator Chuck Grassley, you're a resolute guy. You're patient. You've done this before. You know how this works. Do you feel like the Department of Justice and the FBI are playing games? Absolutely. Senator, uh, first of all, I want to compliment Congressman Comer because he's been very helpful with working me on this issue. And uh, we wouldn't be where we are with the FBI if he hadn't been involved. So let me answer your question this way. We have an unclassified document. We have what the FBI calls a credible source because they paid this person over years six figures. Uh, and uh, I've got a reputation for protecting whistleblowers, and we're going to keep going until we get this document. But yes, I believe the FBI is covering uh, for uh, President Biden, and uh, the information that's in this uh, if, uh, uh, is, uh, is from a credible source, from credible whistleblowers, people that are protected by the whistleblower protection law, and we've just got to get to the bottom of it, and we're not going to give up until we get this document. Senator Grassley, we're hearing the FBI says they can't protect this whistleblower if this document drops. He might wind up dead. How does that make you feel? Uh, 
well, let's put it this way. Look at, compared to the way they're treating Congress as a second-class citizen, they gave the New York Times on May the 18th a classified document. We have an unclassified document, and they gave them the name of a, a human source. Did they worry about that person being assass uh, assassinated? I think it's all blue smoke. No, there's a lot of smoke going around if you look up in the air. Uh, Congressman Comer, you said you're still negotiating with the FBI. What kind of deal are they trying to work out? You're just asking for them to comply with a subpoena and deliver the document to the full house, right? Right. Remember where we are, Jesse. Two weeks ago, and Senator Grassley will testify to this, the FBI wouldn't even admit that this document existed. And now, not only are they admitting the document existed, they've allowed me to go in and look at a redacted version, and they're allowing, uh, they're offering uh, right now temporarily agreement here to let committee members go in and, and look at the, the document. But Jamie Raskin's in the his friends at the Washington Post and, and at CNN, you know, they've gone out and tried to discredit this document. They've tried to discredit the whistleblower. They've tried to say it had something to do with Rudy Giuliani and it did not have anything to, Juli to do with Giuliani. You said in your mo monologue that Raskin said that this case had been closed. It has never been closed. But here's what I believe, Jesse. I don't believe that anyone's ever investigated this. Yeah. This is the whole problem that Senator Grassley has had from day one. No one has investigated this. Now I can assure the American people the House Oversight Committee is investigating this. We will use our subpoena power to trace every bank account that could potentially been, have been involved in this money laundering scheme. Uh, we believe that there's some reason that Biden family members are getting money all across the world. And we believe that this document is consistent with, with what we've seen in Romania and China and other countries around the world. That's why it's important to us. And so, Congressman, if the document's been in Delaware with the prosecutor for a couple of years, what's been going on in Delaware? I don't know. That's a great question. I suspect nothing. I just wonder if the prosecutor in Delaware even knew about the shell companies and all the bank accounts and all the money laundering that the Bidens were doing with the money they were receiving from our adversaries around the world. For all we know and all that's been reported is the special prosecutor was only looking at tax evasion for a couple of years and lying on a gun application. If you're going to investigate the Biden family, you have to investigate not just tax evasion, but money laundering and racketeering and being an unregistered foreign agent and bribery. So, right. you know, I I think we're producing information that's actually helping the U.S. attorney in Delaware and helping the special counsel that's investigating Joe Biden for mishandling classified documents. Well, the American people want to thank you, Representative Comer, and you, Senator Grassley, for uncovering more information about this situation, plus the New York Post, than anybody has in about mm, two decades. So on behalf of the American people, thank you and keep up the good work. I will. I've read that document. Good. Well, hopefully everybody else in the House can get and to I read it, want, too. I just want to know if the FBI is uh, doing their work. I want them to show me and the American people their work. That's all you're asking, and it shouldn't yeah. be that hard. But we'll yeah. see what they say tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.